Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is part two of uh, my lineup and um, uh, the first part I haven't talked about the uh, my, my hero divine evolution divine skill and stuff like that so uh, in this video I'm, I'm gonna cover that uh, I'm gonna cover basically uh, majority of the uh, evolution of all the heroes if I can uh, but but uh, yeah, um, uh, here, here it goes. Uh, for, uh, a pounder, he have an uh, evolution, and uh, to evolve, you need like uh, mutagen uh, right up here. You need uh, lots of it, you know, to uh, max evolve any uh, skill that your hero may have. And uh, some hero have uh, an evolution, and some doesn't. Uh, as you can see, Cardi Bell right here. She doesn't have an uh, evolution yet. Uh, you know, who knows? You know, just just keep the hero that you have right now. Maybe one day, um, IG uh, might give them an evolution. Yeah, uh, who knows? But uh, let's talk about the uh, evolution of my main hero, and why do I choose them uh, uh, for my main? You know, because uh, the because of. Uh, the skill talents and stuff like that and of course you know the the evolution and uh, and evolution can uh, greatly uh, benefit your base and uh, as you can see here uh, you, you see a t uh, sniper tower right there yeah and on top of it it has this uh, glowing little orange icon uh, yeah the same things for this uh, motor uh, on top of it, it has a clone uh, a bull icon. Uh, that means a base have uh, a hero that has the uh, evolution for that um, structure. Uh, basically, the uh, structure is increasing like uh, attack and power and and um, depend on the hero, you know, because uh, some hero uh, uh, evolved the structure uh, differently. So. Um, at a skill one evolution, uh, our hero gonna have the same uh, same talents like uh, finesse, tenacity. Our hero gonna have that, and uh, it gonna cost you like uh, mutagen, go, and uh, you you need to meet a certain requirement, like uh, like uh, this right here. You need to meet a certain uh, requirement, so. Uh, Based on your um, hero level, your hero skill, mercenary uh, level, and uh, and all your requirement material right here. So um, uh, for the uh, pounder, uh, his uh, his third uh, evolution is uh, Gemini, which is uh, uh, very useful if you if you uh, level up your mortar really high. Because uh, it increases uh, damage and HP, and uh, you know, kind of stun the enemy, and that's pretty useful. You know, the the longer you, your enemy gets stunned, uh, the longer you, the more time you have to um, attack him. So uh, that's my um, that's my pounder, and uh, and his uh, divine skill blood cap. I mean, this is uh, one of the best. Uh, Evolution you can have for his skill, uh, which I'm working on. Uh, I'm still working on the the, the cancer talent, and then uh, after that, divine blood cap. You know, I uh, I think uh, my first main divine skill that I'm gonna level up is uh, the pounder divine blood cap because it would um, pretty much get you through the whole uh, the whole campaign. Clash uh, because you know you can pretty much revive Pounder over and over again uh, every battle. Okay, so that's it for Pounder, and uh, let's go to uh, Pangoli. Um, he also have a, a divine evolution, and uh, as I say, you know the first two talent is gonna be the same for every hero. It's gonna be uh, boost his uh, HP and boost his attack, but. Uh, but uh, all the divine is uh, pretty pretty different on uh, like level three and level five uh, for the uh, P 
Pangoli, his uh, level three divine skill is a uh, fortitude. Air area. Uh, basically, uh, it increases the sniper tower attack and HP, but also at the same time, uh, when your tower get uh, down to like a uh, one percent HP, no one HP, your tower be will be uh, immune to any sort of damage for like three seconds. You know that. Um, every second you know counts uh, uh, so you have more time to uh, dispatch your opponent if uh, they're attacking your base so um, yeah the Pankoli uh, third skill is pretty useful for, uh, for base defense and um, again uh, the fourth skill is the same for every uh, hero finesse uh, blessing is a uh, it's a damage reduction skill, so every hero have this. And uh, uh, the unique skill for the unique divine skill for every hero is that uh, the uh, the fifth skill is uh, they all have different skills. And uh, and in the case of Pangoli, uh, it has a divine uh, blaze blast, which uh, knocks out the nearest three enemy away and deal. Uh, a bunch of damage and stunning them for a couple of seconds. So, so at max level, you you're looking at a six second of stun and a whole lot of damage. Uh, level one is only a four second, but uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm also working on uh, the uh, Pankoli Divine skill. Uh, let's go to the next hill. Uh, Arctic Lord. Yeah, I love this guy. Uh, uh, again, his uh, first two skills the same for every hero. Uh, I like his uh, third divine skills the best because uh, what this does is that uh, it uh, when when your reaper die, the reaper uh, I'm talking about. Hold on, uh, I'm talking about uh, this defense right here. This defense, well, which I don't. Uh, have yet this defense reaper right here. See, uh, when when you build that on your base, that's a reaper. But uh, I need a level nine town hall, which uh, I don't have right now. But uh, but yeah, w when I have that on my base, and when the enemy attack that, and uh, that get destroyed, it basically uh, it basically revive as a, a, a Arctic Lord. Uh, how awesome is that? Uh, with 100 HP and damage, uh, pretty much exactly as the uh, Arctic Lord clone. Uh, that's what it said right here, Snow Clone. So uh, I think that's his awesome skill, you know. And uh, his uh, his fifth uh, skill is the Divine Tempest Blade. I think this is a great skill for tanking. Uh, it's kind of like a blood. Blood Divine for the Pounder, but then uh, this skill you you are immune to any kind of damage for for ten immune to any attack for ten seconds. Okay, that is a uh, pretty good uh, considering uh, uh, a, a tank and stuff because it's it's kind of similar to uh, the Pounder because the Pounder give you basically an extra life but then at the same time it takes away the enemy uh, health it damage the enemy health but uh, this skill it, it just kind of give you a second life so you last longer but then it doesn't uh, uh, do as much damage uh, as a pounder but then you know it, it does do damage uh, for the enemies for up to eight enemies at level one and up to ten enemy at level Three, and uh, you you get immune to uh, for up to 15 seconds uh, for the max divine. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's it for the uh, uh, Arctic Lord. Uh, let's go to Sapphic. Yeah, I love this bird. I mean, this this has got to be one of the best flying hero so far, and uh, it's uh, divine skills is. Uh, Fortitude Ice Boon, uh, which uh, which is this leather structure right here, leather defense structure right here. Yeah, no, 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 not that one. My bad. 
this structure right here. Magic tower. I mean, uh, that tower target both uh, ground and air. And uh, based on the uh, suffix skill, uh, when it, uh, it increases uh, HP and attack, but when that structure uh, get destroyed, it uh, it pretty much blows up, and er everyone around the structure pretty much uh, get damaged uh, over time and uh, HP reduced, as you can read in the in the skill right here, and um, the uh, the fifth skill that. Uh, Sapphic has his divine snowstorm and uh, and that's that's uh, I'm not sure about the uh, divine snowstorm uh, I might or might not uh, level that up uh, I have to focus on the other hero first because all this does is just uh, restore air unit HP for 10 seconds uh, and do damage uh, to enemy up to the 30% uh, of the HP also deal 50% damage in battle royale so so, so yeah so Sapphic is good for destroying base you know d destroying like if your enemy base is huge I mean just just use the skill it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty good uh, so at level 1 it heals for 10 seconds, at max level 3 it heals for 20 seconds. And also, you know, Sapphic, uh, since it's a new hero, it, it pretty much boosts its attack and everything in Battle Royale. So I think uh, Sapphic is a must have for uh, any team in Battle Royale. Okay, uh, let's go to <coughs> Kiron. Uh, well, well, Kiron doesn't have an evolution yet. Uh, I hope it does. Because I do save up some shards, uh, you never know when they're gonna give him an evolution. Uh, I mean, he, he's a pretty good hero to have. Uh, Renee Van, yes, yeah, she has an uh, evolution. Uh, Fortitude uh, Frostbite, again, is uh, it increased the uh, defensive structure of the. Uh, victory statue you know uh, and uh, this is uh, the victory statue right here and I found that uh, during most of my raid you know it's uh, this structure is uh, most difficult to take down because all your hero focus on is uh, other structure you know other defensive structure and your, just common structure and this is uh, the last structure that uh, all your hero focus on uh, on, uh, unless you know you got a pounder and a uh, pounder just goes straight to all the uh, defensive structure but uh, pretty much every other hero if if you like uh, put Sapphic uh, in near this town hall I mean uh, Sapphic and the other hero near this town hall they, they just kind of wham on the uh, surrounding defensive structure instead of the victory, the victory tower so so uh, Renee Van uh, uh, divine skill uh, is pretty important. I think is is one of the most important defense uh, uh, divine skill uh, you, you can have because it raises the uh, attack and HP of the uh, uh, victory statue by uh, a hefty amount. And um, at the and the fifth skill. Uh, Renee Van has is uh, Divine Soul Song. Well, like I said, you know, it uh, revives like 50% of all dead mercenary for 10 seconds. Okay, now this is good and bad because mercenary is important. It's as important as a hero itself, but then this, re uh, this first level only revives them for 10 seconds, so after 10, 10 seconds, they're gonna drop dead. So uh, at level one is not that useful, not at all. Unless you know you max level to level three, then you you have 20 seconds. Now I think 20 seconds is pretty important, but uh, I don't think you should you know invest a whole lot of time in her divine skill because uh, it just takes a lot of mutagen and a lot of shards. Uh, 
right now I have a pretty good amount of shard to evolve her to level 1 but I'm gonna need more for like max evolution okay let's go to uh, this demon right now he doesn't have a divine skill uh, mm, I don't often use him in that way yeah I heard it's pretty good uh, if you max his uh, if you max his uh, hero skill to like 20 or something because he, uh, he steal HP from uh, the enemy and give it to himself and his uh, mercenary and uh, blockhead okay he doesn't have he doesn't have an evolution yet uh, I think he's uh, maybe perhaps the second greatest defensive hero in this game I don't know because his HP is just uh, off the roof uh, but the pound is still uh, is way better than the blockhead but uh, if you want to go defensive uh, you don't care about much about attack and stuff like that and you don't have a pounder uh, this guy is a uh, good to go here how about glory priestess uh, she doesn't have a divine skill either uh, most mostly people use her in uh, like a, a wizard strategy uh, you know, you can search out on YouTube and see, uh, you know, what's the lineup for the the wizard. I mean, this if you don't have uh, most of the hero that I have, I mean, you should go with the wizard strategy. I mean, it's it's pretty good too. Uh, it's, but you know, it's it's not really good for raiding. But then uh, in arena, it's pretty effective. Uh, battle royale. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I I've tried. The wizard strategy in battle royale is it doesn't work out that well. Uh, I'd rather use uh, my current lineup. <coughs> okay, uh, I think we talked about Cara de Bell. I mean, she doesn't have evolution yet. Uh, I mean, she's like a poor man's tank. Uh, she can tank pretty good. I mean, her her skill, the Summon Snowy. I mean, Snowy's. Uh, uh, I think Snow is great, you know, he, he has a pretty high HP and stuff like that, you just need to level up the hero skill. Um, Dark Rider, uh, I see a lot of people starting to use Dark Rider in um, every game mode, especially uh, Arena, because uh, his divine skill, his fifth divine skill is uh, Divine Blood, I, how, how, Algies, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, basically, it absorbs uh, like a bunch of damage, and then for 20 seconds, and then it deals like a hundred, ten thousand damage to nearby enemies, and stunning them for three seconds when depleted. Um, in in paper, that sounds really good, but uh, in in practice. Uh, I have to look into that because not a lot of people uh, max the uh, divine for Dark Rider right now, and uh, at the third skill it's uh, for two uh, compliance. Uh, what it does, it, uh, it increases the town hall uh, HP and armor by 25% at level one. Also deals 18% of max HP as damage and inflicts stun for 2 seconds so um, this is a town hall right here so basically you get like a, a shield around it you get a shield around town hall and uh, anybody coming to your town hall it does damage to that uh, that enemy so um, I think uh, it's kind of useful but I'm not gonna put it on my lineup because uh, I'm gonna use a mutagen and all that good stuff for the other hero instead. But yeah, we will to see more of this hero uh, if it's any good. So yeah, that's it, that's it for the Dark Rider. Sav is cheap, you know this guy. Nobody wants this guy, but. But if you roll him and he's your only tank, then go for him because his HP is pretty high. Don't count his attack though because you know, his attack is crap. I mean, all he's good for is like defensive uh, tanking. 
I mean, his skill is like restore HP. That's cool if you don't have Pounder or Arctic Lord or even Dark Rider. So yeah, he doesn't have the uh, divine skill yet. <coughs> okay, the Skull Mage. Well, it doesn't have a divine skill yet. <coughs> Again, uh, this is good for the wizard strategy. I mean, this is like your main guy for the wizard strategy. Uh, uh, if you uh, him and uh, glory priestess, I mean, uh, yeah, you look at up on the uh, sharpshooter versus uh, uh, wizard strategy. Uh, I'm also on uh, my second account. I'm working on the uh, wizard strategy because uh, I don't have like a rich lineup like I do on this account right here so um, yeah I'll, I'll get back to you guys on uh, those two strategy in in the future and uh, Blitz Bomber he does have a divine skill surprisingly and his uh, third skill is for two Tesla uh, Uh, again, this is uh, def uh, boost the uh, defensive uh, structure and boost attacks and defense, uh, attacks and HP. Uh, uh, I mean, if, if you don't have other hero like I do, I mean, yeah, go ahead and and um, use divine on her and use your mutagen to evolve him, but. Uh, uh, he, he's kind of low-end hero, so I would recommend you invest a lot of time in him. And uh, his divine, uh, his fifth uh, divine skill is divine destruction. And what he do is just hurl a massive fireball in front of him, and you pretty much inflict everything in his path. It's it's kind of like an Arctic Lord just moving across the board and inflicting uh, damage uh, on everything in his path but you know this is uh, his this is uh, the blitz bomber divine scale uh, it's not that great but I wouldn't recommend you wasting a bunch of mutagen on this uh, yeah just set your mutagen for something more important like the pounder uh, the pounder maybe sapphic I mean pangoli yeah he's great too max him out Okay, uh, the next uh, hero is uh, Air Elite. Well, this is like the, the crappiest hero in this game. Low HP, low attack, I mean low everything. It doesn't have a divine skill yet. Uh, I hope it never have. So, you know, because nobody like it. Unless, you know, they dramatically boost the uh, HP and attack on it. I don't, I don't see people using it a lot. So I wouldn't recommend you to have uh, Air Elite on your lineup. Okay, am I missing anybody? <coughs> of course, you know, none, none of your rare hero and common hero have a divine skill. Only epic hero so far. Uh, what am I missing from my roster is uh, I'm missing Hydra Sword. Hydra I think I have him. Let's see, uh, let's look for Hydra Sword. Nope, I don't have Hydra Sword, but uh, Hydra Sword, I think I also have a Divine Skill. But uh, again, it's, it's, not, it's not that great, so I wouldn't recommend you uh, pouring everything, all your resources into him. Uh, because, uh, you know, he's, he's not a top hero, but but he's nonetheless the be uh, one of the better support, I think. Uh, I forgot what his, uh, his skill does for support uh, aid but uh, he, he's pretty useful and uh, what I don't have is the demon slayer uh, I don't think I need demon slayer based on uh, what I see uh, what uh, my research uh, I I forgot if he have divine skill or not I don't I don't think he does uh, so yeah that's basically it for this video um, uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and um, I'll have more video for you guys uh, coming soon. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Super Ride out.